reading for November 26th, entitled, While the Sanctuary is Being Cleansed. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 10. Satan is constantly alluring away from faithfulness and thoroughness in the essential works of preparedness for the great event that will try every man's soul. The work in the heavenly sanctuary is going forward. Jesus is cleansing the sanctuary. The work on earth corresponds with the work in heaven. The heavenly angels are at work constantly to draw man, the living agent, to look to Jesus, to contemplate and meditate upon Jesus that he may, in viewing the perfection of Christ, be impressed with the imperfections of his own character. The promised comforter, Christ declared, shall testify of me. This is the burden of the message for this time. Talk as Christ talked. Work as Christ worked. We must look to Christ and live. Catching sight of His loveliness, we long to practice the virtues and righteousness of Christ. It is by beholding Christ that we become changed into His image, and by renouncing self, giving our hearts up wholly to Jesus for His Spirit to refine and noble and elevate, we will be in close connection with the future world, bathed in the bright beams of the Son of Righteousness. We rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Then we are commanded to go into other cities and towns and tell them the good news with hearts all aglow with divine love, even to them that are afar off, even as many as the Lord your God shall call. Tell to others the blessed truths of His Word, and in obeying the words of Christ, continue in His love. How He urges us by the love we bear to Him to keep His commandments. He does this not to urge us to do impossible things, but because he knows what it means to keep his Father's commandments. He wants every soul that heareth his invitation to say the same to others and to receive his richest gifts, for he knows that in keeping the commandments of God we are not brought into servile bondage, but are made free through the blood of Jesus Christ. And in keeping of them, his commandments, there is great reward. Psalm 19, verse 11. Tell it to others with pen and voice, with piety, with humility, with love, representing the character of Christ. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is athirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Revelation chapter 22, verse 17. Taken from Manuscript 48, dated November 26, 1890, entitled, Reflections on Labors in Brooklyn.